Hey. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Fungi, are you ready? Hey. I'm ready, bro. Hey. Are you ready, my guy? Let's do this. All right, I said, are y'all ready? Oh, wait, there's no nobody else here. It's just me and the homie here. <laughs> all right, so welcome back to the podcast of all podcasts, y'all. It's your boy, Prince. And today, I got one special guest, the homie, one and only. My name is Jeff in the motherfucking house. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's good, G? What's the deal, bro? Good, man. I'm glad you came fucking through today, man, because a lot of people are stunting today. And they come on this fucking live today, I'm fucking roasting their ass straight up. You feel me? They said I can watch you from afar. You feel me? But it's all good. It's all good, man. So, man, how you feeling today? Good, bro. You know, Tom Brady. My boy Brady. You know, going to his 10th, I can't even really be that happy, you know, it's just... This happens every year for right. me. Right, it's natural, bro. It's, so, it's a normal thing. It was good growing up a Tom Brady fan, so I'm having a good day, man. You know, can't nobody. How y'all feeling out there? You know what I'm saying? People that's in the live right now, let me know how y'all feeling. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tune into chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? It's been a great day, though. How was your week, G? Bro, it was. It was. I'll say it was boring, man. It was boring. boring. Why, why was it boring, man? Pandemic. It really got me down. No work. Uh, you gonna let you gonna let the chopping it up the podcast you know, you ain't working right now you ain't getting bread uh, bro, I'm getting bread <laughs> <laughs> I can't I, I can't tell you how I'm getting bread but uh, yeah no nah, I'm still getting bread luckily you know, I gotta do that that's a must but um, but yeah man other than that bro you know shit's just been slow you know shit's just been slow unusual a little off but you know other than that bro just you know staying in the gym trying to keep my mind going. Just feel. trying to stay busy, bro. I feel that. It's hard to stay busy, man, because there's nothing to do, man. I mean, you really got to make, like, you got to, like, make, create your own work, bro. Like, I'm thinking, like... Exactly. I'm trying this, to... I'm thinking, like, this year, bro, something really better fucking pop off. Because it's like... Yeah, yeah. I can got... You know what I'm saying? Because a lot, from what I... My understanding, from what I've been speaking to a lot of people, like, they've been leaving LA. Expensive, bro. Yeah, especially now. There's nothing open. There's no jobs. Like, I'm barely holding, you know, it's like <laughs> everyone's barely holding up, bro. And it's like, if you are holding up, you're probably using um, resources that you didn't plan on using. You know, Maybe money that you had saved up that you didn't plan on being abused right now for shit that you're your day to day. Right. You know, so yeah, it's tough out there for everybody. Whether you got it or you don't got it or you got to do something extra to get it now. Nigga, you know. Tell him, bro. I feel like, oh, man. So, oh, man. I have a. Uh, I don't know where I want to start. I don't know where I want to start. So I, I want to uh, start this off with the uh, podcast. Dude, they want, I, I, I want to. I told you about it a little bit. I hinted, I hinted yeah, yeah, to you what I want yeah. to talk to you about. A little sprinkle. So uh, let's get it. So I was dealing with this female, mm-hmm. right? And uh, she came out of nowhere. She came out of nowhere. This girl was like fine as fuck hella into me and it was just like this the energy I was getting from this girl didn't make sense Mm -hmm. like I like I know girls are attracted to me and everything but the way she was into me was like this is how I want everybody to view the way she viewed me does that make sense wait she she viewed you different from how everybody else viewed you at the time the way she the way the energy that she was giving me it was just like damn I wish everybody like viewed me and like like worshipped me the way she was at this time. Got you, got you, got you, got you. So how does she? <laughs> how does she view you then? Like how does she look at you? Cause yeah, it's weird to get that a bunch of energy from like. Now I know my name is Prince, but let's just say she was treated like a king. This <laughs> <laughs> nigga. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> For real, bro. She was just like, wow. She was like hyping me up for my skit. She was like, bro, like keep doing your skits like you should do more like you should be like uploading every day just like motivating me and all this crazy shit bro mm-hmm. just good and bro this time this is when I had like short Bill hair give, give me some confidence yeah bro this is when I had short hair every day bro she would brush my hair I get my weight bro she brushed my hair for like 30 minutes bro. oh that's rare I never ever in my life had a female <laughs> that's rare bro brush my hair for 30 minutes get my weight game bro Straight up, I ain't playing with you. Yeah, I've never, never in my right? life. I wish. <laughs> so, sorry, um, 
Long story short, while I was messing with this girl, mm -hmm. she would say like some weird shit. She'll be like, "Ah shit!" All right, so one, she <laughs> like some freaky shit. Hear me out. <clears throat> so she was like, "Um." We were in the car one time, and she was like, she worked at, <laughs> all right, so look, no, there's going to be more people coming in, wait till they hear this, so she's like, we're in the car, and she's like, she worked at a fucking, um, like, restaurant, like, kind of like Hooters, right? Got you. Like, so she was a server. <laughs> but they dress a little promiscuous. Yeah, so a little revealing. Yeah, so she said she only worked two fucking days, bro. Two fucking days, and she was making like thirteen hundred. And her parents was like, "There's no way you're paying all your rent um, doing thirteen hundred. You're doing something else." She's like, "No, my parents don't believe me that I make that much money. I get it in tips." In tips. I was like, "Possible for sure." Really? Bro, I'm, a, I'm a waiter, bro. Thirteen hundred for two days, bro. I've made I. Like, you know, not to put it all out there, but I put it like this. I've had days where I've worked, I can work four or five days, and I've had days, plenty of weeks, where I only have to work two or three days, bro. Two or three days. Not that I'm not hungry to get more bread, but it's like two or three days of me just having to do hard labor to get a rack and then be able to kick it and create or, you know, do whatever, be able to, you know, have my own free time, but still have the same money that people right. that, you know, that people are having to, uh, you know, do for five, you know, five days or something like that. Yeah. Bro, trust me. I believe her for sure. That's interesting. For sure, well, two I, days, thirteen hundred. That's nothing. To, but what I, do you think bottle girls are making? I don't know. I didn't believe her. I didn't believe her because look, I had to help her uh, move out, and she was behind on rent for like three thousand dollars. So girls are irresponsible when they get <laughs> when they get you know. <laughs> so, and she, she, you know, we still young, so, so it was kind of weird. All right, so check this out. So we're in the car one day, and she's like, "Man, I'm tired of uh, you know waiting bottles and sucking dick." I was like, well, and she was like, "Huh." Hold on, wait, what? Like, right, right. I was like, what? And she's like, oh, nothing. I was like, all right, whatever. Like, she just <laughs> randomly said that shit? Yes, G. So, Bruh. So, then what? One day, so then, then one day, she's like, I'll be soft. So she's like, yo, this is my old nigga. He was a pimp, and this is his old hoe. I know he ain't making no money from it, but look at her. And I was like, oh, man. What? And, you know, I didn't, I didn't really, like, kind of, like, put it together. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, like... I didn't like, you know, put it together yet, right? Yeah, you find so, it. That's an interesting one right there. Right. So, you know, she keeps asking these questions. She's like, and then one woman, she got like mad at me. She's like, you know, if I'm not getting money with you, like, it'll, like, you know, you know, it's, it's just pointless. And I was like, well, why are you hanging out with me? You, you call me every day to like hang out with me. I don't like call you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. So I was like, yo, if you need to go make money, like, go do your thing. Go do your thing. Yeah. Right. What the fuck are you stressing me about that for? So. One day, bro, she, Weird ass I just, remember man. she asked me, bro, Crap. she was like, well, what are you thinking right now? What are you thinking? <coughs> First of all, I mean, that's a typical, like, you know, that's a typical female mindset of 2000, whatever the fuck we is. Wait, hold on, G. Wait till you hear this. Wait, go ahead. Uh, uh, you know, whatever we, you know, whatever we in, but, um. I mean, off, the, off of what she's saying, you got to understand right now, you know, off of her mentality of what she's talking about, you know. Yeah. It sounded like she used to getting pimped out. So, right. it, you know, and it to me, that's not a bad thing. If you bought your bread, you bought your bread. I don't judge on... on right. I ain't going to judge on shit like that. Now, you, I got to let you know right now, I'm not with that. Or that's not how I'm moving. Right. Or if I am going to move like that, like, there's got to be something more exclusive. This can't just be me pimping you out. Like, mm, right, 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 nah, right. maybe I know <laughs> maybe I know some niggas that'll, take, you know, toss you some bread to, 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 to let you, you know, smash, but like... Yeah, you know, that's that's some low-key so, cash at me type shit, and we don't know nothing about it type shit. Like. Right, y'all hear that? <laughs> Yo, so, she, I, remember her, I, I remember asking me, she was like, what do you think about, like, I remember she asked me, like, was she, I don't know if she said prostitution or pimping. I don't know if she said that. Yeah. But sex work she asked sex me work. about it, and I was like, at this time, I was heavily into God, you know, and I felt yeah. like most of the girls that was coming to me, Gotcha. I felt like God was like trying to like test you, like not t well test me, but like try to like get them onto His path. You feel me? Like introduce them. 
Got you. You feel me? Kind of like you're a missionary. You know? Yeah, so, that's what I, I don't know. That's how I think God works with me. You feel, you feel me? And that's how I be meeting a lot of females because they be going through it, bro. Got you, got you, got going you. Going through it, Most G. females do go through it. Shout out to them, you know. You know what I'm saying? So. Females be going through it. So I, you know, I was telling her, like, no, like, that's stupid. Like, you ain't got to sell your body and all that shit. Too. Oh, like, yeah. you know, I remember. Drake, Drake at the, uh, Drake yeah. at the strip club. <laughs> yeah, bro. And I just remember her, like, saying, like, uh, after, like, we cut it off, she was just like, you know, you're a waste of time. You were just a waste of time. And, I, you know, I just didn't understand this girl at this yeah. point in time. Always be a waste of time. Right. At the end of the day. So then I was speaking to these other girls, and I told them the same thing. And they're like, yo, she was trying to make you her pimp. Yeah, for sure. No and doubt. I didn't no even doubt. know that. <laughs> yeah, he was young in the game, no doubt, no doubt. And I probably would have. I, I, I ain't gonna even be mad at you. I didn't even know. I'm telling you that now because we're here now talking about it. But I wouldn't have known back then too. You know what I mean? Nigga. You know, I wouldn't have thought about it off first, off first glance. You know, <laughs> you know. But for sure, you know, she was talking about you know trying to uh, definitely you know do some business ventures involving. And what I think about it now is like, damn. Her man. body parts. <laughs> Bro, you know what? It's so crazy because a lot of... Yo, what up? What up, Ariel and the daughter in the fucking house? What's good, good bro? What's good, G? Hey, man, so did you hear the story? What? Did you hear the story? Yeah, I did. What'd you I think? Heard I heard that, bro. Bro. I wouldn't know either. You... I wouldn't you wouldn't know, right? I would have known. I, I didn't know at the time that she was like wanting me to like like be her pimp, bro. I, I didn't know that. Nah, I wouldn't have caught on to that. I would have been like, on some, you know, I'm too fresh for this. Nigga. Yeah, I'm too fresh for this. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking over here doing God's work, you know. No, you ain't got to do it. But, you know, she just wanted me to just like. You got to be on that same thing, too. Like, you ain't got to do all that. Man. Oh, bro, you know what? I forgot to even call you, G. I really <laughs> did, bro. Because I was supposed to have, like, other people, bro. But, hey, man, I appreciate you coming through because I got to, like, keep it going. All right, G? All right, man. Appreciate it. Um, damn. Yeah, man. So, like, now, I don't know. I'm not for that shit either. But now when I think about it, it's not that hard. Nah, yeah, now, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, but, no, I mean, I, no, I mean, listen More to, wise. I've been listening to some shit. There's rules to the game. Yeah, no There's doubt. There's rules to that, so that's something I would even have to learn because, bro, I've been having these situations. I, well, not even that. I've been thinking about some of the girls, bro. Some of the girls, they've been approached, like, on some of that on that type of shit. So mm. I'm like, dang, dude, maybe that's the reason why they're coming to me because they thought yeah. I could pimp that. Yeah. I can, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah definitely, like, yeah. If you, you know, especially if you got the, you know, the gift of gab where they feel that they look at you and they're like, you know, I could probably, you know... You know, girls are thinking business now. You know, it's not not most girls are thinking love, which I don't hate, I don't blame them for because they didn't they didn't they didn't hey. watch everybody go through that and it failed. So they like, yeah, we trying to get money. How can hey. we get money? How can we build? And you know what they say? You know, you don't choose the game. The game chooses you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, bro. But hey, dead ass. Dead hey, ass. that's a true statement. I don't even know it, bro. Yeah, bro. I could have been on that shit like by then, bro. You I probably could have, yeah. I could have been racking that there's shit. There's shit, right yeah, there's shit. Yeah, there's definitely shit opportunities that you probably missed out on off of that you probably, you know, they I ain't gonna say missed out because you know you can always do what you gotta do, but uh, you know, there's definitely, you know, foots in the door that you probably didn't realize you could take, you know. As far as getting into doing something like that. <laughs> Especially when you were when you were about it, you were about the exact opposite. Right. You trying to, you know, you trying to. And she was a black woman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you're not clear, thinking about, bro. you're not thinking about disrespecting a woman. Ain't from the South, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, 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 like... it's different down there, you know, you ain't coming out here to LA to pimp no hoes, the fuck? I mean, or did I? Hey. <laughs> hey, bro, I didn't really think that shit exist until I came out here, bro, until I started falling into these situations, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, they pimping. Uh, all I got up a and question, down bro. Western, all up and down Fed, I got a question, G. Long Beach, Ventura. I got a question. How much are you willing to let slide? You feel me? How much are you willing to let slide? Like, how much are you willing to let someone, like, I guess, let's say, lie or, like, just keep doing something that, like, annoys you, but it, it, it doesn't, <clears throat> like, you know, being an adult, you know, they say, like, you... You're in charge of your energy, what you put your energy to. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you sometimes choose not to give your energy to stupid shit. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you keep letting it slide. Yeah. How do you handle that shit? You know what? You asked the right person because... <clears throat> Did I? Because um, 
yeah, bro, I'm, you know, I'm extremely patient person, but mostly just about, you know, everything. So. Yeah, that's good. You know, you gotta, you know, it depends on what you put your energy into, bro. I don't really, you know, people say it's because I'm an Aquarius or whatever, but, you know, I don't, it takes a lot to get me there. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody stoops down to a level I don't really want to go to. If it's not, you know, necessary for me, I'm not going there. It's all, you know, it's all about levels. I let a lot slide, though. Work, Seriously. home, you know, everywhere. You know, it takes a lot. Like, I got to really feel disrespected right. by some shit, you know. It's got to be, you know, on the level of, like I told you, you know, if I'm taking, if I'm, if I'm not letting it slide, then it's a wrap. Right. I'm either going to let it slide or it's a wrap. Right, with, any, right. with anything. Right. I feel that same way, bro, because if I uh, mm-hmm. go there, then it's just... It's, it's no going back. There's no going back. It's no going back. If I'm at work <laughs> and my manager say something, and if, once it's time for me to say something back, that means I'm risk. I'm risking the job. I don't care no more. See, you better than me. I can't work for nobody. <laughs> I can't. I feel that. I, I feel that. And you know, I didn't learn that until I started becoming a man. You know, after being 21, after being, you know, say light skin. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, uh, no, nah, I'm just saying, I, I feel what you're saying, bro. I feel what you're saying. Because having that mentality, I try, I've always like thought like that, but I've always tried to not be like that because then I would be like, I'll be miserable at work. So right. I've always tried to make it like, no, I'm good. I can, you know, I can yes, you know, yes, sir, no, ma'am. Oh, man. Mm. For the bread, you know, for the bread, do what Especially I got to do. Especially when you're doing, working with the entitled, because there's a lot of entitled out here. Oh, for sure. And I'm pretty sure in the field that you work in, you deal with those type of people. You feel yeah, me? I work in Santa Monica too. Oh yeah, oh man. So Santa Monica is weird. They got the they have some snobby. They have some snobby. Areas. Santa Monica's different. Is it? It's a different place, bro. It's like uh, it's crazy because Santa Monica's right next to Venice, and if you go to Venice, it's, it's like different. completely different. Different. Like a whole different. different. A whole different vibe. That's the thing about LA itself. Like oh yeah. Inglewood's different from Compton. Mm-hmm. Uh, downtown's different from fucking Santa Monica. It, 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 every, Everybody has its own sectors. Yeah, it, it's really crazy, bro. That's the reason yeah. why I love it. It's like it's like a video game. It's like GTA, bro. For real, San Andreas. Bro, <laughs> it really it's is, San Andreas. bro. Like, they did a good job with that. Yeah, bro. And, it, and the what happens in that game happens out here, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to let y'all know that. So if y'all decide to move out to this bitch, bro, I don't know why y'all will. It's kind of dumb at this point in time. But because where you can afford is where you don't want to be. Yeah, and I don't think there's much. It's, it's not much affordable options. Not nowadays, bro. They are trying to push all the black people to the east side or out of LA. Other than make it, bro. Lancaster, Palmdale, High Desert. They trying to get everybody out of LA. Everybody's going to Vegas. <clears throat> they going to Vegas. They going to Texas. I got a lot of friends went to Texas. I got a lot of friends went to. You just went told to, me he was going to uh, Florida. Florida, Arizona. The places that they can still get that L.A. weather, kind of, you know, or still get that good Well, a lot heat. of people move because, one, it's nothing here, and a lot of people, uh, it's, uh, it's open. It's open in fucking, uh, those places. Are Atlanta, open. too. Yeah. And that's a big Shots beacon. Shout Grace, you feel me? Yeah, that's a big beacon for black people, too, from what I hear. Yeah, yeah, I might have to, I used to live over there. This nigga used to, uh, Mercy, bro, um, I used to live in Atlanta. Oh, Savannah, for real? yeah, for like a year. Gotcha. How was it? How'd you like it? Terrible. Really? <laughs> Hated it. Hated you from it. Dallas, right? Yeah. I was born so, in Philly, but I grew up in Dallas, Texas. Gotcha, but, gotcha. I, yeah, I grew up in Dallas, Texas, but for like a year, my parents went to uh, GA, and I hated, hated it. Hated it? You probably hated Savannah, though. I, my, it was Savannah, yeah. My boy's from Decatur. He he explained how Savannah was. He wouldn't like Savannah. Nothing. You know, he's nothing. from, you know, he's from. Nothing going on. Sorry, DG, no offense, but nothing <laughs> going on over there. Bro. Shout out to Shannon Sharp. Bro, he even said Savannah sucks, bro. He even knows. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, I remember, uh, yeah, Shannon Sharp was, was talking about, he's from Savannah. He was talking about, yeah. Shannon Sharp. Yeah, that ain't enough. <laughs> this nigga. Um, but yeah, uh, back to what we were saying. So that goes along the lines of being confrontational. So are you, very, are you a confrontational person? Nah, not really. It's, you know, like I said, it's got to be time. Right. It's got to be time. You know, I don't even like to argue. I seen a meme on uh, Instagram and it was said, damn, I should go find it real quick. What'd it say? It said, it said something like along the lines of, yeah, you know, I'm the type of like when we have one bad argument, I automatically like can't see a future with you. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the meme said. It's like, I don't argue. I'm not going. If you, if you lie to me, I'm going to let you lie. I'm not going to bring it up. 
I'm not about to try to uh, expose you as a liar because once I go there, that means I'm done with you, you know? I'm not about to expose you as nothing. You're going to be the perfect 100% angel while I'm messing with you. You know what I mean? You're going to be, I'm not going to do nothing. You're going to, we're going to be good. When something finally really bothers me and we hit there, it's most likely a wrap. Mm. Other than that, then. No, you're talking relationship was, huh? Period. Even if you just. Even if you're just talking to a girl and it's like she's doing some shit that you're just like not maybe, you know, messing with. But it's like, well, you know, it ain't enough. to. If like, I'm just talking to her. It ain't girl, enough right? to cut you off. If so. I'm just talking to a girl and I see she has options, that's not going to cut her off. You say if you talk to a girl and you see she has options? Yeah, major options. Bro, you got to cut every girl off then. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. I'm a very loyal man. But I'm not going to be like, if I know... Like, if I see you talk to me, bro, and, like, I'll be taking you on dates and everything, and then I see you, like, on a, like, I see you, like, on your snap, eating out with another nigga, or, like, another yeah, dinner. no doubt. Oh, that's gonna piss me off. Yeah, not me. Because, unless we, you know, no matter what, that's the one thing with, like, most, with most people, you know, that the whole, like, entitlement thing with, like, what a title means to a person, which is why I be, like, really looking at the whole boyfriend-girlfriend title thing, and I look at it different now. It's like... It ain't just like, oh, we in love anymore. It's like a really an entitlement over another person. You know what I mean? I see you get, I understand you getting mad about that because you're spending money and you're spending time, right? Right. So, and you're investing feelings. Right. Ah, okay. Because I just don't throw those. I just don't give that away. I feel that. You feel me? I feel that. At the same time, it's like if, I, if, if you're investing in one girl... And yeah, you're going all out for one girl, and then you see her they're doing that. Yeah, I'll be upset too. Right. But usually, it's I'm investing in this girl more than I'm investing in the other. Mm. And then it's like, but then I see this girl messing up. I can't be too hot. I'm still slightly invested in. No, I think if I'm if, if I'm not too man, I'm not. I just lay out those options and see how it goes because I already know how the, I know how it plays out with um. I I know how it usually plays out. Dude, one's going full. Uh, like you know, they're going. Drip, drip, rise away. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna fade off. away. One of them's yeah. gonna fade away. Yeah, they both are. Eventually, yeah. I feel like you know what I'm saying. It depends on what type of shit I'm on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I just right now at this point in time, I just don't fuck with people. Just to, I, I just don't fuck with girls just to like fuck with them. Me neither. Me need like it's a future thing now. It's it's yeah. Not only a future thing, or it's like you gotta absolutely know it's like an extreme short term thing. You know what I mean? Or, it's, or you know, com- like the convenience thing we were talking about. You know, like it's, it's got to be extremely convenient. I see, the, I understand the future thing. Are you talking about like building? Yeah, no, like, yeah, for sure. Building, nigga. I, today, where I'm at right now, like where I see myself in the future, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you know, I, I feel like I have a lot of things going for myself. Got you. So I need, need you to add to that. Feel that. You feel me? It can't yeah. be like you bringing me down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or yeah, taking yeah. away from me. I need you to like be on your own path to like either motivate me or something. You know, mm-hmm. it, I need that, bro. You Got know you. What I'm saying? Yeah. And if I just see you just on some bullshit or something like that, then I can't fuck with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Especially like every single girl I always meet, bro. They always have like a lot going on, like their past. Like you like yeah. Like, I meet them. Yeah, we at that age now, bro, where it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, girls go through trauma, and then, you know, I mean, men go through trauma, too, but, you know, we we probably going to hide it more. We definitely ain't about to just be trying to throw it off on you, but women probably do that a lot, <clears throat> a lot more, and they act off of past trauma more than... Hey, let me uh, correct something right now. We're not talking about just black women, we're talking about all. Women, because uh, a lot of I think a lot of um, women be thinking like, oh, now you're talking about black women. No, we're not talking about black women. I date all women. Oh we, yeah, we all races. So I don't want women just to be thinking, oh, they, or black females you know, should think we're talking about them. Because I think all women, everyone has their own issues. Yeah, for male sure. Male and female, but you know, I just want to put that out there. But no, I totally feel what you're saying, G. Yeah. Um, because I was thinking like, do these like, I listen to like what they got going on. It's like, dang, do y'all. It's just too much. I'm yeah, like, it's too dang. much. It's too much for you that you can't handle all those emotions. Yeah, I be doing the same. You know, I be on the same shit. It's like, it's like some women be like needing a that, like you like need a rock, like strong, Same-hero. like yeah, like I need you to <laughs> like help me everything. 
yeah, it's 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 really hard, like you said, to be trying to do, you know, something on your own, and then you're trying to be involved with a woman, and she comes with a bunch of baggage. Yeah, you know, it's like it's really hard. some some women can have so much bad trauma. It's like it's like almost like a woman coming and having a kid, like like having a kid. You know how some how people. How long feel. does it take for you to see that that other side? For me, it takes like a week. <laughs> Depends on yeah, <laughs> depending on how you met them. I mean, usually you'll start seeing the signs, like you said, old girl start saying weird shit, and you were just like, you know, that was a red flag, but it wasn't a flag that you knew something was off, but you couldn't really, you couldn't really pinpoint it, but you knew something was off. Spidey senses were tingling. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't want to. Be- <laughs> I like that. I, like that. <laughs> I didn't want to believe it too. That too. I kind of knew it, but then I didn't want to believe. There's it. stages. There's a hmm. Then they're thinking about it, and then there's like knowing, but not wanting is denial. Man. Then it's like, oh, gee, oh. it's like how I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> how I'm gonna tell myself this is really going on. Right. So when I be thinking about these girls, <laughs> like the girls I meet, and I think about the girls I did have, and then all my exes, I'm like, dang, I'd rather go to my exes. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather like it's not as bad with them because I know their past. Oh, you as far as me, as far as me and these new girls that come yeah, with you so know what much. I'm I know their past. It's me. You feel me? So I and, deal with that. And they know you. You feel me? So when it comes to like, I'm just like, man, because I'm still cool with some of the exes. Gotcha. Some of them. Gotcha. And even if I do show up, they'll still be with me. I still say that to this day. Oh, no. <laughs> they do know that. Especially that one. I don't want to say no more names. But no, dude, like, I don't think I'm going to find a, a, I don't think I'm going to find wifey out here. Straight up. And yeah, I, um, you know, not to knock. That's not, you know, that's not LA strong suit. You shouldn't be looking for wife out here. I should just tell you that. I shouldn't? I you you know, shouldn't be looking. It's not that I was looking, but you know. You also shouldn't be surprised that old girl's trying to, like, trying to get pimped out. Dude, it's. It's surprising you got in that situation, that you got in that situation, but it's like. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not surprising. You know, but it just makes me like think like, what does she see in me? That's like, yo. Mm. What does like, she? What does she? Have, what does she not have going? Did you maybe have a car, and she didn't have no whip, or she did had you? A car. Li- she had a car. Yeah, she you know. Her own place, kind of. Some girls just see opportunity. Some girls see opportunity. They I see you could do something. She, you know, yeah. maybe you know, maybe she see you had a little platform. That too. You know, she's so like oh, connections. LA is a different place, you know. You so someone someone could like you for who you know. They could like you for how you look. They could like you for how cool you are. It's rare that they like you for all of it, though. Mm. You have yeah. a question? No, all of it. <clears throat> Would you like? Uh, let's just say you're like on an app, right? Like Tinder or like. Fucking like blackpeoplemeet.com or whatever. Right? I hope somebody made a fake page of me on that. <clears throat> That's crazy. Really? Yeah, I've never been on Tinder, but <clears throat> I've been on Bumble and I've, um, yeah, I was on Bumble for like a week and it, it's good, it's good. It didn't work out for me, so. <clears throat> right. Well, when I was dry, I used to always get on there, right? Gotcha. I wasn't getting any, bro. I'll get on there. Did it work out for you? Like, dead ass, for real? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hit some. I'll hit some. <coughs> I hit some. I hit I've some. only heard of a few... I've only heard people's stories, but I, it seemed like a myth when I got on it. I heard crazy stories. I've heard crazy stories, nigga, but, like, Bruh. on everything, like, if you, like, dry, you go on there and get some. And, um... <clears throat> I recently, uh... I, I, I got on Black People Meet. The app, right? You know, we're in quarantine, nigga. Black people meet. Up. Is it the black app? Yeah, or whatever. I think that. Black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude told me I was driving Uber, and he was like, yo, nigga, uh, uh, the black app, bro. I was with these hoes last night. This is that. And he's like, bro, that hoes ready on there because we're in lockdown. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, if I download it, bro, there's some bad emails on there. I'm not gonna lie. Can't fuck with him, bro. It's too suspect. I just can't do that. It's pretty. It's pretty. Some bad emails that I'm not gonna front with you. But um, I was thinking like, what if you saw the homie's mom on the app, right? Oh shit, yeah. If you, because you can get like an age range. Yeah, and let's just say you just, you know, 
somehow she pops up there on your feed. And you know, you just like, okay. You just like, what? And you you slide, choose it? And oh, slide. It's a match. Would you tell the homie? If it's a man. Oh, you mean like so she chose you and you chose her? Yeah. Oh, wow. You tell the homie? But you know it's the mom. So you either you they both y'all both know each other. Yeah, but you know she's on this app and somehow like I'm know. saying does moms know who you are? Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, of course. Do you? I tell them. <laughs> First of all, even with moms, it's bros before hoes. <laughs> it's still bros before hoes. If it ain't my mom, you know what I mean? This ain't my mom, so shit. Um, if I mean, it was, she's bad, too. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Like that's unfortunate for all those, you know, that's unfortunate for all those, um, you know, people with young moms or whatever. They probably had it, you know, that's tough. I would assume I wouldn't know, but um, you wouldn't. Mm-mm. But um, yeah, bro, I would have to tell him, bro. Come on, damn. I would have to tell him. I'd have to. I'd have to probably keep it one hundred. I'd have to probably make up a story like, nigga, I just slid it to just see, like, <laughs> just to be funny, like, nigga, <laughs> let me be funny, and it really worked. And like, I just, I just have to let you know, like, you know, that's what happened. <laughs> before shit get out of hand, dang. You know, or or you gonna you gonna do something extremely? You know, and then she messaged you, and she's like, "Don't tell." Oh, you already know she's with the shits. Oh, <laughs> and she messaged you first and everything. She already tell you. Already know. She's like, "Yo, don't tell, don't tell Roderick or whatever." I'm good. That's crazy. That could happen though. Uh. Even if I don't, you know, she's got to be that, she's, she's got to be that bad and our friendship can't be that great, you know. Mm. I feel like But that. I can tell you right now, that probably is not in me. This, the sex wouldn't even be right for me or the time with them wouldn't be, wouldn't be right. I, I, I mean, the time with them wouldn't be right. I wouldn't feel right. It depends on the homie. <laughs> it depends on the homie and I guess the situation, especially if. It's, it, you know, the age the age thing nowadays, it's like the older you get, the more it's like the age gap is just becomes, starts to disappear, you know? Just, right, man. You know, it's like you can't really tell what's too old anymore. On everything. You know, you're in your late 20s. It's like, well, I can go up to about 40 now, right? And it'd be okay. Man. Most of them ain't really in their 40s trying to date a 20, you know, anybody in their 20, nothing. 29, 28, 27. No, nah, you'd be surprised. I had a, nah, I mean, yeah. I never dated an older woman or anything. I never did, but... I've never um, really been with older women. I had an older woman that was married. And she, I don't know, she was in her 40s. No, I don't think she was... She probably... Like she married. was married? Was she separated? She or was she, married. Damn. Bro in here. <laughs> Bro in there. I didn't even know... Trying to, I knew, but Trying to like, secure a bag. I was just thinking like, yeah, dude. I was thinking like, dude, she's gonna fly me out. <clears throat> oh yeah, I would. Yeah, I'll go for that. I guess. Experience, my nigga. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, bro. That's all. That's all, that's all I can think of. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta live. You I gotta. Live I, need, I need some stories to tell. I need these stories. I need somebody to be like, you lying, old nigga. Nah, I'll tell you the truth, nigga. <laughs> it's I feel that one day. Yeah, I feel that. Especially now. Um, yo, I have a question. <laughs> Another question. And you have, have, have some, too. some questions for real. I <clears throat> think a female can be corny. Bruh, come on, man. Human beings. Most, yeah. You know how, like, they always Females say, are corny. They, always say, they like, can hide it, though. They always say niggas are corny and shit. You know what I'm saying? They can, like, they, they can, they can hide it. They can approach them. I think female is just, it's just not a thing. It's just not a thing. Because if... if Men are so infatuated with women, even if they are corny, they can't. They probably can't see it, especially if, you, corny, especially if you find. Name something corny a female does. <clears throat> you it. ever had? A, you ever had a woman? You ever had a woman bust you? You know? You ever had a woman try to? You know? You ever had a woman pull you? Approach you? 
Yeah. Bro, come on. That's not the corniest shit you've ever went through? No. How, 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 do women, how, how do women approach you? All right. So if it's, it depends on the scenario of where I'm at. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So let's just say if it's Uber. If I'm driving Uber. Got gotcha. you. I'm a female, you know. Um, I don't usually try to talk to people, but people won't talk to me. I'll talk to Pat, right? Yeah, 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 I feel you. So, That's a good Uber. Right? Like, engage, don't engage conversation if they engage yeah, with you. Just engage so, back. That's what most people go for. Once, like, uh, they'll just start, you know, female, gorgeous female. Start talking to him. And they'll start trying to engage me, ask me certain questions, like, how old am I? Or, like, ask me what song it is and whatnot. And we're like, oh, where I'm from. And then, <laughs> once they ask for, like, my Instagram or some shit, it's all. Oh, yeah, got you. Once they, once some, they, make, some, some Uber drivers advertise their Instagram in the car. I don't want to do that. I feel like it's corny. That's, that's doing too much. I, I might do the podcast, and that's a different story. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you can be a ghost in that, you know? That's, that could be for anybody. You feel me? But uh, other than that, like... No, I think it. I think it's cute. Like I hate to say cute, but like anytime a female comes up to me, like it's the best thing ever. Yeah, that's I like, think that's it's like dope. The, that's like the greatest. <laughs> that's like the greatest shit ever because <laughs> girls are only used to it being one way, so they don't even really know what they're doing. So it's cute off top. Like those are the ones. <laughs> the ones yeah, that come at you. The ones that the come ones. at you because that's how you know. It's it's like a like for me. I would, you know. I mean, every man would prefer that, but like. For me, yeah, I would say I would be more accustomed to something like that versus me, like, going to ask a girl myself, you know. If a woman approaches me, I prefer it that way because at least, right. you know, you know, woman is getting bothered off, you know, as soon as you approach them, they already got that first mind, like, oh, another one. They done already been approached 10 times and they just got out the car. Just I- hopped out the whip. Every, they see the eyes. They know. So it's nothing you can tell them that they haven't already heard. So whatever they come in to tell you, they have never said. Right. Most likely, so. And I don't even say like the Instagram because like the followers or anything because I don't even have clout like that. But mm-hmm. just like once they ask for that, that's just the initiation that they're going to hit me up where we can communicate. Exactly. And you know it's not a waste of time. You feel me? And uh, if it is, like, you still don't feel like no no one who took the L there. Nobody. Nobody, bro. Yeah, nobody. Nobody, bro. Versus you, like, digging and digging and digging and, like, someone, like, DMs or whatever or, like, seeing someone over and over and you keep, like, being thirsty for them or whatever. It's like... Yeah, all right. If they if they come approach me, I already know what time it is. Yeah. I'm cool with that. I'm game with that. That's cool. Same. Man. What nigga wouldn't want that? You feel me? Same. I'm pretty sure females... I don't, know, I don't know what females want. <laughs> sometimes I don't know if they want us to approach them and then not. I don't even know how that works sometimes, but it just happens. Yeah, I've gotten I've gotten both. I've not approached um, I've not approached females, and then they said something like, you know, I've had females say like, why didn't you say why why you didn't say something to me, or you know why you were being shy. But I've had yo, are you gay? Hey, is your homie gay? He see me looking at him. He ain't say nothing. <laughs> or you know like bro I just don't like harass like girls get so easily harassed yeah I my whole know. generation of growing up I just watched it like you know I watched it growing up so I never really bothered to do it I don't even like asking girls for their number I usually don't no I, it's gotta be like a mutual like it's gotta like be like a mutual like fall into it for me like I don't like like chasing after girls or like going up to girls asking for their numbers randomly dancing on females like none of that you know not, no, not since like high school. When I go to parties, I don't even um, approach people until I know they're looking at me. Until you know they're looking at you. Until I yeah, know you, you gotta be getting and, a. And you have to be very uh, smart and strategic. I hope I'm saying this right. Strategic with the timing because they could be looking at you for a while, and if you don't do it in a good time, time frame, you lose them, or they'll be on somebody else. Yeah, like, oh, man, especially if y'all eyes connect and y'all are talking with them. Mm. You know, it's like hey, you know, because. A girl tell you to come over here with their eyes. Nigga. Know? Every nigga's telling you to come over here with their eyes, you know? So if a girl do it to you, then it's, yeah, you know, I've gotten eyes before. That's a good feeling. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, usually you probably don't lead to much, but it's still like. It's still good to have it there. Like, especially now yeah. today, bro, I feel like it's going to catch up. It's you, you feel me? They going to come back around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, man. I, I feel that. If they still follow you. Yeah. If they see what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 you can always slide in that DM, regardless. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
for sure. I think so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that at all. I still got some weight right now. A way for you to hit them? Uh, I mean, that, that's on my hit list, you know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just playing. No, I'm kidding. But no, nah, man, that's uh, some crazy, crazy shit. Man, you got something on your mind? Um, man, you know, uh, you know, I was talking with my boy, um, then I gotta be, can't be too transparent, he gonna be like, nigga, why you was talking about me, my nigga, you gotta put my shit out there, but no, he was telling me, um, um, Ah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, you know, basically, man, you know, he, you know, he got a little chick, but, you know, it's not really his, his, uh, he don't, like I say, he don't call her his girlfriend, you know, they're not entitled or whatever, and he does his thing, but she does her thing, too, and he don't get upset, but she gets upset. Now... I know how you probably would, if I asked you how you probably would feel about that as far as like you saying, you know, you invest in your time or whatever. But if you, if, if y'all you, both doing your own thing, if you y'all, can't get mad. But that always is going to, that's always going to come back and it's always going to be like that little, you know, them little maps we had to do, them circle maps in class, that little middle part of that map that connected. Mm-hmm. There's always going to be that little, y'all ain't going to never be right. I mean, the thing is, it, it, so as you're saying that she's getting mad at the homie for doing his own thing. Only like, one person's getting mad, but y'all still both doing y'all, y'all own thing. Yeah, so I mean, this is the thing. If y'all, look, like, this is the thing. Y'all need to be together, that's it. Fair enough. Because if she's still getting mad. But still doing her own thing. And that's he's, hypocritical, bro. Oh, man. I don't want to get on that, bro. That's so hypocritical, bro. Yeah, but because she's... Unfortunately, and like uh, from how I see it, on the outside looking in, it's like it's it's hypocritical, but it's like it's almost like she get you know she gonna get away because she's a woman, for you know, like it's so you it's so it's so like manly to do it. It's like normal. Damn, I wish Jessica and the other girls came today. Damn, I really want to know what they would feel. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, gee, I I'm not down with that. Yeah, me, you know, I was. She's doing her own thing. Yeah, at the, at the, yeah, I'm just, man. If y'all are both doing your own thing, what's the point? How can you get mad? Like I said, people. That's, first of all, that's a red flag. It's a red flag. So I'm like, <laughs> and this ain't like the super like close, bro. So like, I only he only tells me what I can, you know, what yeah. I can, what I can piece together, you know, from you know. Not being able to see it, see it. I've seen a little bit of it, but I ain't, like, seen it full-fledged every day. But, you know, from what I hear, you know, it sounds like there's something one-sided going on. Like, someone sees themselves, you know, she sees herself doing something that's slightly, like, okay. (laughs) You know, like, it's just like, oh, I can do this. I'm sorry, But you can't do that. Like, I got, you know. I don't even know her. Or I don't even know you, bro, but. Man, if you do Jesus or whatever, G or whatever, I'll just say. Call I probably said that's what I tell him. And I'm like one of them dudes. Where I'm like, I, I don't like telling none of my bros like cut her off, bro. Like nigga, that's your, that's no, up to you, bro. I would, no, that's, that's up to you, bro. But unless you do some super, you know, some some scandalous ass shit, then I gotta be like, all right, bro, you gotta cut her. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, yeah, yeah. And that's I mean, obvious. At the end of the day, they're niggas grown ain't gonna, man. You know, yeah, you're a grown man. Yeah. But like, I, I me. Personally, if it was me in that situation, I'd be like, what? You're mad? Yeah. But you have... No, that didn't even work that way. And first of all, low-key, I couldn't really, like, deal with that. Low-key. On, on his end, like, if she was doing her own thing. Yeah. Because... Nah, I, I probably don't feel... I probably, I'm probably upset and holding it off just because I know I'm doing my own thing. But you over here not holding... You over here taking your anger out on me about me doing my shit, and I let you slide. Yeah, oh man. Like uh, you the cops thing, you know? Like I'm nah. 
I get to take it, be even get my cake and eat it too. Just I'll give you a crumb here, but you better not be <laughs> eating cake, nigga, over there. Look, bro, just hearing that story like gives me this old feeling. I used to have to date one of the girls I used to date, bro, and I don't like it. Oh, see, <laughs> see, I couldn't deal with it, bro. I, I can already see where that, that yeah. that's gonna go, man. Hey, he's. I mean, he's still making. Shout out to him. Still making it. Uh, you know, he's still making it work. But that's got to be stressful, bro. It must be some amazing. That's got to be stressful. But I was think. I was thinking about that. Um, just because yeah, recently they he had us like yeah they had blown up and I was around. And they blown up on each other and I lived. You know, being a nigga, I was eavesdropping, of course, just listening. And I was just like, bro. Just Don't you walk, hate that? Isn't that some awkward shit? Just walk out, bro. Isn't that some awkward shit? You, yeah, why are you even going back and forth? Makes no sense. She, you're telling me. Y'all are both mess with other people. Willingly and knowingly. <laughs> but this person is cussing you out for it. Yeah. That's the fucking energy. Told that nigga. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. We all go through it. We all go through it. We live and we learn, bro, because I think that's what that man's going to live through, that situation. And he must be got, like, hella hoes. That's reason why he don't care. Yeah, I don't... I don't... Yeah, honestly, I, I mean, I, yeah, I would say he's, you know, probably well off, I guess. You know, I don't, I don't, he, he, he don't struggle like I do. So, <laughs> he don't struggle like I do, that's for sure. So, you know I mean? so yeah, he probably ain't got no complaints. But, bro, if that was me... You know, but it, you know it's it, it's definitely something to think about. Have you sure. ever like, <laughs> have you ever seen a girl so bad, right? So fine, you got like, dang. I'll put it with her. Whatever she got going on. Yep. <laughs> There's some bad females out there like that. I see what the girl I'm like, damn, bro. You just I don't give a fuck. I do not care. Three kids, cool. Let's figure it out. I want to find out. No car? That's okay. I have a car. It's cool. I got you here and here. No crib? <laughs> oh, man. Look. Squeezing my shit. I, I got a box. To stay with me a lot. Yeah. I, that's where I draw the line. That's the craziest ex. shit. My ex. My ex stayed with me, but. How long? Heck, like six months. Okay, yeah. That was, a, then, that was enough, right? Uh Yeah, but what, what the situation I walked into was the first situation I just told you about. Oh. Uh, she came out of nowhere. That girl, girl, that girl came out of nowhere while my ex was living with me. <laughs> and when my y'all were together. Y'all was together while she was living here. No, we weren't together. We were like uh, we were. Tripping. Y'all living in the same room. She had yeah, y'all sh- mm. we were in the same room Mm-mm. and everything. That's, That's a crazy. crazy. Situation. That's but then crazy. that came. And you got roommates, right? Yeah, I had roommates. Yeah, it's too much clashing, bro. It was man, it was some crazy shit, bro. It's too much going on. It was a crazy shit. It was, it, Unless they like, ideally like you, but you know that's rare. What do you mean? Like you can tolerate, you know, you could tolerate, you could li- you could tolerate somebody if they're. I know. Like the thing is, I wanted to work out. I was trying to make it work out with her. You know, feel me? But yeah, uh, wanting and trying. That's that's what I mean. Yeah. It's, when it's organic, it just flows. They don't want no try. It shit just happens. Yeah, that's how. Know. That's the only way you can live with somebody. When you trying to make it work in a living situation, it's gone. <laughs> no, we no. The thing is, we did make it work. It, 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 we we lived together before. It wasn't a problem. It was just the thing is, she had left, and when I came back, like I mean, when she came back, I already had like my shit going on for me. Mm-hmm. Like I was doing like the whole skip shit and all that. So I was with all, I'm moving I, on. My, mind you, what I was telling you in the beginning, I was like I was messing with some of them. You know, got you, got you. And then, you. like, you know, she came back to LA, and I was like, oh, shit, what? You came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I need a place to stay. Oh, fuck. That's rough. I, I got you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You've known then, her for a while, too? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? She had me when I was out here when I was struggling. So got you, yeah. You gotta to look out. Favor. Gotta look out. You feel me? So that's that's being a good friend, too, you know? You yeah. feel me? I, I could not, I could not have, like, done that. But you, you know? still probably. Slipping, sliding every now and then, right? Oh, for sure. But gotcha. you know what? I would never, gotcha. I would never take that back in the day. I'm glad I went through all that with her, though. Yeah, for sure. Straight up. But like, you know, it was just crazy because she was giving me the opposite. Like, remember what I was telling you? That girl was giving me. She was yeah. giving me the opposite with what I was doing. 
with my skits and shit. You feel me? She like, wasn't supporting that? Yeah, because yeah. of the situation with the other girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And that's going to make it impossible, damn near, for you to work. Bro, so to satisfy shit. her, bro, like, I stopped, like, doing it. You know, I stopped, like, doing the skits mm-hmm. and shit. That's you know what I'm saying? To, like, you know, like, make her understand, like, you know, I, I want you to be happy and, and trust me. Yeah. But then, you know, I stopped doing it. And then that's when this chick comes out of nowhere. Mm. Comes to me and just, like, gets his attention and yeah. everything. And what, bro? <laughs> You know some crazy shit? Check this out. Bro, um, bro, she came to that gym. Like, I brought her to the gym before. I'm pretty sure you were there, bro. Like, it was oh, on Slauson? Yeah. Oh, it's the 2-4. Yeah. Oh, okay, bro. okay, okay. That, uh, yeah, bro, I probably, you know. Bro, I'm going to show you, bro. I'm going to show you. Two no, times no. a day in that bitch. <laughs> bro, so, like, <clears throat> I only tell this story, but if you're new to this, you're going to find out. What phone was it on? Oh, uh, so when she, like, came to me, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we first shot a video together, like, I had to, like, hide all my ex's shit. (laughs) (laughs) And, like, all that shit. Damn, Damn, I've never went through, I've always probably wanted to go through, I've never done no shit, like, no crazy shit like that. I had hide all her shit, bro. That sounds fun. And we shot this video, bro. <laughs> and then you hit her shit. So she's living here. You had to show that she wasn't living here. Yeah. So That's like, nuts. I've never had to do yeah, that. Yeah, like so that. look. That sounds fun. Like, we shoot this video, bro. My homies and everything. And, like, she was like, bro, can you put, like, lotion on my legs? Bro, my friends are right there, bro. And, like, bro, I, look, let me tell you, I shot, like, See, one. you'd have fucked up putting yourself in that position, no, no, bro. No, see, no, that's no, how I had that. See, that's. I shot a lot of videos, bro, with a lot of girls, and I know what time it is, like. Put lotion on my legs? Not even that, just the energy. It's the energy. What you gonna thing. tell your girl? Nah, she, her, what, her, what her she arms was wasn't girl. working. She wasn't my But girl. she was just living with you. Yeah, she was just living. Gotcha. You, you gotcha. feel me? You're right, you're right. But, I mean, we were messing around still. She could have been my girl, but we never, like... Never, we, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly. That's how I feel. If you don't make that statement, like, yo, we're good, then that's game. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, she already knew the deal. We already we established that. Yeah. Y'all know. <laughs> yeah. You know mentally. Like, hey, don't mess with nobody. If you do, you did something wrong. She couldn't wrong. mess with fucking nobody, bro. Yeah. For the show, because if you were, you guys is going to be... Sleeping, sleeping out, them, sleeping nigga. outside, yeah. You better stay with them. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't have. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> you <laughs> right. You, I would have. If you stay with me, you go fuck with somebody else and I know. Oh, no. Yeah, you probably can't come back here. Yeah. Not if I know. There's probably been times that's happened. I mean, I only let, I've only been, like I said, I did a, like a six month to a year type of no, deal, too. Not fucking happen. Nah, yeah, you'd know. have to leave. Anybody would have to leave. You better at least willingly leave. Don't make right? me leave. You have to kick your ass out. Bro, so, like, you know, I would, like, bro, when I would come home, bro, when she would come home, I would, like, go in the car, bro, and FaceTime the girl. You know what I'm saying? She'd be like, why are you always in your car? Like, oh, oh, man. Shit. I was like, oh, it's because I just finished, like, uh, doing something. Like, oh, no. Secretive shit. Yeah, bro. And I just felt so bad, bro. And then I chopped it up with the homie. Yeah. And he's like, bro, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. I'm about to say, bro, yeah, that's good that you <laughs> That's good that you felt bad because I wouldn't have been able to even do it. No, I couldn't, bro. Yeah, I wouldn't like, have been able to even I do couldn't, it. Like, the way I couldn't. I can't I'm, do that balance. Bro, I ain't going to lie. It's to, balancing, too, it's like, mm, I can't do it, bro. It's too much. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't know. I, I, I low key. It's 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 not a bad or a good thing. How you know? I ain't gonna judge on it, but you know, I give it to niggas that can do the balance because you know the fake profiles and all the lies and all the stories. I be like, oh, I will be watching the homies like, man. I, I ain't even do all that shit. How the fake fuck do y'all do this man. shit? That's too much, bro. But uh, you know, and I was kind of like forced into that off. situation though. You feel me? I was forced into that situation because my ex, like, you know. Mm-hmm. Came in out of nowhere, and then you know I was already doing shit. So I felt like it was already in line for the, her to come to me. You mm-hmm, feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me to interact with her. Yeah, it was already in line. Yeah, yeah, know? for sure. Cause she came on to me off my skits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she called me, and I was like, oh. And she's like, you know what? Let me see what's up. Da, yeah. da, da. And then you know, anytime a girl like interacts with all your stories, I mean. This, but this is my theory. Anytime I know, you know, girl, like comments on every fucking one of your stories, bro. She wants you. Oh, you mean like if you post something and she messaged you? 
Yes. Or even if it's like a just an emoji reaction. Yeah. They it's some interaction with them. Yeah. They try to keep you on top of their feed. Got you, got you. Yeah, I guess I can say I have some, you, you, you got you know you anytime, got you got some regulars. Oh no. Anytime <laughs> that's happened to me. Yeah. I'm back. That's just me. Got I'm you. Saying, no, got I don't you. Know. Or you have something that you may not really want, but you know that that's what that's that's what that means when that sign is being sent. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I, that. I, I had no messages with that theory. Got you. Well, from the, that experience. Got you going going one hundred percent. You feel me? From the field. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and ladies, no, don't be afraid to do that. All right. <laughs> oh, <for sure. laughs> they go. Yeah, they are. But the yeah. bold, the bold ones will. I'm saying from from here on this point, if y'all are watching this. But um, she was doing all that shit. But I had to like hide, like you know, I had to hide all that shit. So my friend told me he's like, "Yeah, bro, you can't have your cake and eat it too, bro. You gotta yeah, let it out." Yeah. So I ended up telling, damn, who did I tell first? Damn, I don't, I don't remember who. I but told. you started getting heavy. You started getting heavy with. Uh yeah. With the girl that pulled that you had pulled up on over there in Inglewood. Yeah, gotcha. I started getting heavy with her, and I was like, dang, this girl's like, dang, she's like, give me the energy I want, she worshiped me, mm-hmm. and I like that, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Not, that the, not that my ex did do everything, it was just, it's a difficult worship. Different, worship. different, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I feel you. And I want something new. Tried that out, and then, you know, and you know, <clears> mind, mind you what I told you in the beginning, bro, I didn't even like, you know, before I was like, dude, why, like... And there's more to that story to her. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to reveal it mm-hmm. right now. Gotcha. But, uh, you know, just come and find out, like, dang, dude, I didn't put it together that this girl wanted me to be her fucking pet, bro. Yeah. And, you know, mind you, bro, I kicked, like, I didn't kick her out, but eventually the, my ex got, she left. Mm-hmm. She, I basically kicked her out. When I went over there um, to, like, chill with her, she had, uh, I spent the night over her house. And mind you, my ex is still living with me. So she's like, where the fuck you at? Oh, bad. Gotta come home. Nigga, she was calling the whole fucking time. Calling, 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 sending text messages. Mm-hmm. And the girl's like, who's that? I don't know. It's my friend. Turn that phone around. But, you know, it all blew up in my face. <laughs> <laughs> it all blew up my face. He said, "I turned that phone around." I really did, bro. It all Don't blew- worry about it. Yeah, it all blew up in my face. The girl, she found out. So my ex, she dipped off, went and you know, got her own place, and then like I told you no, know, you know mm. the girl, you know my ex, she called the new girl. Yeah, you in trouble, bro? She called the new girl. This is that. This is that. You know, this is yeah. that. Yep. And I was all like, that. Oh my god! All I can't that. believe you did that. Just whatever, you know what I'm saying? At the end of it all, that girl came back to my house. The ex? No, not the ex. The oh, the one that... After, the, after my ex, like, took all her stuff out and, like... Yeah, nigga, you should have knew that. Yeah, she trying to make that money. Bro, <laughs> Off top. I, and, like, to me... Off bro, top, I, yeah. I, to me, I was thinking, Off like... Top. Off top. Bro, to like, me, I can't even stress to you that that was, is what was going on. Nigga... But I'm still saying I wouldn't have known either. Yeah, that's nigga, time. I wouldn't have known either, bro. Bro, but when I was thinking <laughs> so, about it, bro, when I was like, I, like most girls would be like, "Yo, you're already dating someone, but you were, you're talking to me." Like I, I feel mm-hmm. like that would turn most girls off. Yeah. You don't think so? I think so too. But like, damn, you would be surprised. Right, that's what uh, these. But girls I would told think me. So. I would definitely be like shocked in the motherfucker too. Like, no, yeah, that's what these girls told me. They're like, no, they she wanted to claim her territory, claim some territory, basically. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. tried to pull a little stunt, bro. It's a game to them too, bro. I didn't <laughs> know, bro, but it's a game know, to them too. So and then, like, you know, everybody trying to, you know, there's even a worse twist to it. But either or, it's just like, dang, bro. Nah, that's pretty, you know, now then looking at it now, it's pretty, pretty in the face bold. Like, that's 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 exactly what was happening. Some territorial, trying to get pimped out shit. For real. Typical city shit. So, trying to make some bread. Not necessarily saying they lazy, but, you know, the trades are just like, hmm, where can I make the most with the with what I got with who I like? 
why not? Those questions start to come into play. You know, only fans, you know. Jesus, I just think about it now, bro. Not that I wanted to do that, but I could have done that, man. Me too. You could have. I got approached. Yeah, I got approached with it. Yeah, one keeping that one hundred. I got approached with some. They what? call it stunt dick. <laughs> they call it stunt dick. What? Yeah, it's, yeah. I got um, asked to be, which which is like you don't even have Hold to be. Hold that thought, cause I gotta get my time All right. Some crazy shit. Um. Yeah. So, so basically, what it is is um. They basically do like um. What do they call that when you uh? What's the point where you don't really see like the whole body, but you just see like the the first person view. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you don't really get seen. You know, they just use. Your, you know, basically yeah. your torso, you know, you, mm -hmm. you know, she's riding you or doing whatever, or the, the camera's cut. If you hit, you know, like you know, yeah, like a, one of those scenes where it's like they're not really showing nothing, but it's like your by half your body is being used. So unless you got like tattoo or something there, you know, you can't how much really was he trying to pay? You know, I didn't get that deep. <laughs> I didn't let it go that far, so I didn't even really ask about it. I found out after still being after still like not tripping, you know, after turning down the little deal or whatever um or just saying that I wasn't interested after still following the person and then seeing them four months down the line started showing me uh they started screenshotting the money they made and what they were buying I couldn't believe it I'm talking like 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 bro 30k in four or five months Damn. off of like this is a person that I know it was just like me, just chilling, like not even doing nothing, but just, you know. Would you go back and do it? I wouldn't know because, <laughs> of, you know, unfortunately, you know, that for me, I feel like I'm, the only thing about OnlyFans is I don't know how secure it is. You know, I'm not saying the more, more, my morals wouldn't do it. I'm saying I don't know how secure it is. Could someone screen record that? Like, can someone, can I record that with another phone watching that? Like, of course, it, of course it would. Yeah, so that can come to bite you back. You know, what if I want to get a, what if I want to get a role? What if that blocks me from getting a role? I mean, I wouldn't have my face in it though. Yeah, you wouldn't want to have your face in it. Um, but at the same time, I also just thought about like just keeping it a hundred. How I was raised, bro. I'm not about to be fucking on camera for money. It's just not happening. Right. But I definitely don't see nothing wrong with it but it's just not for me for sure no I feel that I got, I know but I know yeah definitely know people that do it it's no problem no problem with that at all Sex what if your female now couldn't what if your female wants to record because your girl my female yeah I don't mind making videos that's great I love making videos but like you know that's for us to watch facts you know it ain't really for it's for us to enjoy it's always good to see yourself in my opinion <laughs> Right, you gotta know what you look like and what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? That part, straight up. That you feel me? Um, man, that's crazy. Did you uh, hear about the the girl twerking on the Capitol building? I didn't know. No, Tell so me about a, that. This, this, this black girl, this black girl, this black woman, queen. She was a little MLK. I don't know if it was the Capitol building, but it's somewhere in Washington. Mm -hmm. And she was twerking all over to so like some like drop it in, drop it in, drop it. like 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 you know it was like that Chicago that that fast yeah like drop it in, drop it in, drop it in, drop it in. like I don't mm -hmm. know I can't even do it right now because right New Orleans style music yeah like booty bop booty bop like you know that's that's kind of beats right and she's doing that right and like bro they were like giving her like so much slander in the was comments. it like Black Twitter destroying her or was it like what was the shade room so I guess yeah that's urban. Yeah, I mean, I felt like that was meant like twerking's kind of like I don't know. You can't really 
turn twerking into like this honorable thing. Honorable thing. Cause that's what she was trying to defend it as. She made like three videos. Yeah, it's just unfortunate, bro. Cause <laughs> like, uh, and, and her point was like, if it was a white girl, nobody would feel anything about it. If it was a white girl, she would have. It would have. It wouldn't have been like she would have got chastised differently. We would have just been like this, this dumb white girl, you know, doing this stupid shit. Like somebody need to find her, you know, type shit. Right. But, but like, if you a black woman and you doing it, yeah, you are gonna have a lot of people like, yo, you degrading us. You making it look like that's all we do or something, or like that's our like. What was she? What was she trying to prove? Twerking on MLK Day on a mon- on what monument or whatever? I'd have to probably see the what really happened, but. It sounds to me like, yeah, like she was just trying to be like, yeah, I'm black and I'm like, I sound like that's her, that was her way of showing it. Like, that's all we do. Or that's the way black women are coming. Like, right. oh, I'm going to pop my ass on the Capitol to show you, or, you know, to show you don't, you know, we don't give a fuck, I guess. Right. Um, so I've been thinking like, you know, um, you get ready to close the show, but I haven't ever asked you this question. Serious on a serious note. Know, so like um, for the past couple of months, I've been like hearing people. Um, you tell they talk about politics or like where we stand as black people. It gets so heated. It's always a heated like confrontation yeah, of like yeah. where we are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or where we should be or what we should be doing. Right? Mm-hmm. And it's like all right. Remove yourself from yourself being black. Got you. Hard to do. Hard, hard, hard to do, but yeah. yeah. But think of yourself as if you're Chinese or something. Or uh, better yet, take, forget that scenario. Think about if you're a bad guy. Right? Mm-hmm. You're a villain. Got you. If but I'm not black. Tra- no, no, don't even think about just being black. Just think you're just a bad guy. Got you're, you. This is the story. And... You're controlling the whole situation. You know everything that they're doing. Because they talk about it. And they all seem very confused. They don't know what they're doing, but you know what they're talking about. And they're like, what? They don't know what they're doing. How's that look to you? To the the group that you're controlling. That you're controlling. That you put them in this fucked up situation. You're the bad guy. Mm-hmm. You have them in this situation and you hear how they're talking. They're not together. They're still not together. Even though they want to be together, they're still not together. Even when they're trying to be together, no matter what they do, they're just not there. But you have control of that. You just see it. Even though they want to be together, but they're not trying to be together. How do you, you understand? What do you, how do you do that? Do you get what I'm asking? No. I'm like, I kind of get it, but so... <laughs> So, mind you, like I said, when we were, well, us black, the only time we talk about, like, dang, where we are, like, man, we should be doing this together, but no, we're, you know, you know, we're, we're being held, at, we're, we're being held back by the white man because of systematic racism, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No, we, we don't, you don't have to worry about that. You have to be, think beyond that and work beyond that so you don't have to be like that. But that's what we're fighting because there's two there's two sides to it. Got you. You feel me? Got you. That's you a good me? take. Yeah, it's a good take. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So in then, order to, in order to get past that racism, we have to get past thinking like that first. Right, but the, the, if we the, always the, think those that two we'll mindsets never get, though, we'll never right? Get past, yeah. So now there's this thing called podcasts and these talk shows, and they and like. We have these conversations amongst each other, mm-hmm. and we have these co- amongst each other like fighting yeah. each other. I've seen it right. like, on multiple podcasts or whatever. And to me, if I was like that, the person that we're talking about, I would look at them as if I was the villain. Like they don't know what <laughs> they're not together. They're not they're, together. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. They're confused. Yeah. Even if it ain't just confusion, it's just some people just bro like you, you, they can't you, they just can't. They can't bro you see you seen what the country did with the whole with the whole Trump thing and you watched how people who actually supported Trump 
We're fucking the cops. We're, we're not giving a fuck about the cops. Y'all was just marching for the cops. Getting mad at us for marching against them. Y'all should have been marching with us. Right. All the Trump supporters should have been marching with us. Right. Y'all should have been marching with us. Because they did, they, and they didn't even do y'all how they would have did us. Not even, not even. <laughs> y'all saw a taste. She, one person got popped. I think like five people died, I think. Five people died, but when we watched one person get popped, you know, uh, and, and he, he gave her a good warning and come on, what are you doing? You breaking windows inside of the Capitol. That's crazy, bro. Come on, That's man. That's villain shit. How many of, like, what, like, can I ask you just quickly, just sidebar, how many, like, not to really dwell on it and really ask, like, the numbers, but can you imagine, like, for real what would have happened if it would have been black people oh, or man. black and Latino or black and you know, dark, you know, you know, brown, Asian, or whatever, you know, imagine. It would be, it would be, uh, it would be chaos. It would be. I bet you wouldn't have been no one to five people dead or injured. No. It would have been a massacre. For sure. Mass. Um, you know what I was thinking about? I I told, uh, I told my friend, I I had, and this is on a long podcast, I was thinking, what if we had someone like Trump, but that was black, ran for president, and was like stood on his shit for us? You know what I'm saying? We love it to a certain extent. Because we love it being black, but then our human being side will kick in eventually. Eventually. Well, what Do you, you think, we, you, you mean like, will it make up for all the shit we've been through? No, with like, but what if he like, I don't know, let's just say, there's two ways you can go think about the situation. Biden working on reparations. Is he? Federal reparations. Is he? I mean, is he working with Snoop Dogg for the uh, platinum plan? Oh, yeah. That, dude, that's actually smart. Y'all gotta really think about that shit. He was trying to help us, but, um, oh no, we gotta see about that. Um, I was thinking about reparations too, but how would that work? How would that work? You know what? Damn, if we would, if you would have gave me a little, like, we would have, we can make that, you know, we could talk about that again, but like, I know there was a plan can't think of it right now mm-hmm. but there was a plan and I remember telling my mom about it and I was like it's actually not a bad plan it was something like like 5k a household per month or something like that for like the next like 15 years or something or 10 years or something like that um, well you know Indians since uh, Americans took over the land Some, they get a check yeah they get a check something months. yeah something along the setup of that yeah I was thinking about that I was like what if we get like what if, if you get it if you're born black, you get a check, for sure. And then I think like every six months you get like, a f- I think I'm like four thousand, or maybe two thousand dollars. But I was like, I don't know if that would even like make up. But that's every year. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I I personally can tell you right now, like, looking at the world now, it's. It, that would scratch a back, you know, on what they should, on what people should be getting, especially people that are older than us, you know. Bro, because if you think about it, man, uh, you know, America's built off us. The White House is fucking built from us, and it's like, bro, it's like such a slap in our face that you don't even want to, like... Think, bro, for real. For real. But you give Indians, and you give... Uh, foreign people uh, money when they come over here it's so crazy mm-hmm. and you know what else and they did bro I mean fuck man they did they did the natives foul you know they did them foul. Like, fuck they did us foul too yeah 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 for sure for and sure. They, they, they did us foul too they did yeah yeah but um you know when I was thinking about that shit you know I was thinking like damn bro uh, I was watching uh, what's that uh, it's on HBO Max it's uh Lovefield something. Oh, Lovecraft. Yeah, I was watching that. Kind of. In the first episode, you know, they were riding the bus in the back of the bus, mm-hmm. and then the bus, bu- uh, yeah. the bus, uh, you know, breaks down, and then they had to walk. And I was like, dang, how many times have I seen this in movies? Right. And I was like, dang, as a kid watching that, I, I, I was like thinking like how it affected me as a kid seeing that. Mm-hmm. As a kid seeing that, it's like, dang, bro, black people always went through like shit. Shit. Not really yeah. understanding it. Dang, you know, sitting in the back of the bus, they used to kind of make fun of it. Mm-hmm. You know, just being a kid. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. But same, bro. Uh, I understand it really. 
you know, just seeing that how I repeatedly seeing that in movies and movies and movies and thinking that what that does to the mind, I'm like, dang, dude, we've always been not shit to, like, we've never been shit. Yeah. They always viewed us as not shit. We've always been at the bottom. And it's just like, I'm so fucking tired of, like, seeing that and hearing about us being at the bottom of, but we're not shit and us talking about each other. No matter any yeah. conversation we have about each other, if it's females talking about niggas or niggas talking about females, it's always a shitting on each other. I mm-hmm. like. I'm tired of that. You know what I'm saying. There were no positive combos. It's never let's get together and let's talk, and then they don't automatically shoot it to like. But what if they're fucking in the yeah, bitches? You what know what I'm saying. Oh man, what if she she out there hoeing? Like it's like yeah, you can't never even. The that's and I was telling the homie that too. It's like it's a mindset of I hate to use this word urban, but I, when I say urban, I mean like I just don't. I want to say like it's black culture, but. You know, there's other races that are in black culture. It's automatically coming into that black culture, looking like looking at a black man as like you don't look at a white dude and be like he has hoes. You know what I mean? That's not a white thing to do. No, I've never ever talked to a white girl like you know any white or anything that was like I said like urban like didn't have like black friends or didn't grow up with black friends. They never started off with you have hoes. That's a black that you know that's like a, <laughs> that's like an urban thing to do. Like that's just how we that's just how we move in our circles. Yeah. Like of growing up being black like you said we've just always looked at it like that from a young age mm-hmm. we've always looked at being black as not being able to take care of our kids not being faithful yeah. so it's automatically the women don't have no choice they just gonna naturally grow up like oh this nigga ain't shit it, it, we, we'll never be shit because even if someone was shit we wouldn't we're not used to someone being shit <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's really it's, it's crazy and I think we just as individuals we just have to start just thinking better about ourselves you know what I'm saying and putting ourselves in a better highlight it's it? like the ham it's like a hamster maze with cheese explain that just black people like the same cycle doing the same thing just going right into that same bubble yeah. of just like oh I'm all just going right there like step out of that yeah, I I'm, I don't know. I'm just so tired of that. I'm just, even just with Hollywood, bro. And if I make it into Hollywood, if I am running into Hollywood, tough business. And if I do like figure out some way to do it, bro, I'm gonna make sure like I put our people in a good light. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know, I want people. I want kids to grow up and be like, yo. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's just crazy, bro. I'm tired of it just ah just being this one stereotype. Stereotype, yeah. Real nice. And, and not even knowing for a long time, like that's how it was. We just na- naturally going through the motions with it. Ah oh, man, it, it, it's tough. It's really tough, man. But yeah, man. Well, it's been one of those fucking episodes, hasn't it? Yeah, man. Uh, we chopped it up about some shit today. Just really chopped it up today, man. Yeah, bro. Just some crazy shit, man. Bounced some, off of each other. Some pimping, pimping, man. Bro, that's some crazy shit. <laughs> bro, and you know, I don't bro, know. It's been I don't know what's like, man. It's been two years, and I just came to this conclusion, y'all. Call, call me dumb, but I mean, it's crazy that I I came to these conclusions, and you know, like it took these females telling me, like, no, she was trying to put you on, but I was like, what? put you on for sure. And Which, then, like I said, yeah, you know, like you wasn't about that, but yeah, you could have made you some bread. Just like the OnlyFans, because it made you some bread. And look, bro, I'll say right now, you can't look at it right now as a, I fucked up. I look at it as you fucked up when you're 45. And you, if you didn't make it, you know, but bro, trust me, if you're trying to make it any, if you're trying to make it anywhere in the entertainment business or anything, doing anything that's positive, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, you know, doing something on like OnlyFans that's too revealing and you're not heading in no. that direction, you're not heading in that direction and it can't really benefit you. No. It ain't, it ain't gonna really stop you, but you never know. It probably gonna, it could close opportunities. Unless I have my own shit going on for myself. Yeah, unless, that's what I mean, unless you're if independent. I, if this is popping when this does pop, or you know what I'm saying, all my other shit pops, like, nigga, if I wanted to do OnlyFans, which I never would, Unless my girl digging a girl that was into this shit, you never know. Yeah, if you see some, if you see a future, if you see a future with a girl and y'all both okay with making some bread, then that's different. Man, but like, man, just a DM to me, link up, like, no, uh, no, 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 I can't do that. that. Can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Especially nah. I gotta get comfortable with you. I gotta get comfortable with you. But no, man, it's been one of those episodes, man. I'm glad yeah, bro, you I appreciate you having up. me, bro. This um, is... here's 
supposed to be a couple other people with the other dude. He something came up and the other dude he was shooting with somebody. That's Devon, cool. Shout out Devon. I Positive thing, yeah. yeah. Shout out yeah. to the homie. Yeah, he yeah. be dropping gems, bro. Yeah, you Knowledge, know what I'm saying? Knowledgeable man. I was over there sitting, I was just watching, I was listening. I was like, okay. Yeah. 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 Bro yeah. knows what the fuck you talking about. Yeah. That's you know good shit. Um, I watched these girls that came this week. Uh, it wasn't good, but you know. Yeah, it's always good, you know, you know, to have I'm, some. I'm, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that going. To have some diversity, if you can get a female's opinion, you know, yeah, to hear you know from what? a woman is always good. Right, and I fucking invested four mics fucking today this weekend, man, just for that purpose. Like, bro, I like so the mics though. These mics is cool. So, yeah, you know, that so way everything come out crisper and clear, you know. Yeah, man, wait till. Well, I'm gonna get the these stands and everything, and then. Fish out. And then we we'll get another couch. Nigga, uh, uh, <laughs> I have another camera, bro. Somebody ain't one, bro. That's up, bro. That's what's up. I can't wait. Well, yeah, man. Uh, Can you post it? Keep me. Let them know what you got going on. Hey. <laughs> hey, as soon as you let me know, bro. <laughs> hey, right, I'm ready right. to work. I'm yeah, ready bro, to work. I gotta, um, I gotta finish writing it. And it's just because, you know. Let the let the creative juices well, flow, bro. Don't, don't rush it. Don't it. rush it. Don't I don't rush it. say no. It's not even that. It's just because everything was on pause because of last last week's situation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure that's clear though. So y'all, if y'all don't know, I be going through. I understand through. that. Y'all, if y'all don't know, I be going through it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, y'all. That's too much, bro. That's yeah, much. so it was like I, I put it on pause because you know, but I'm gonna hit her up and see what's going on. Cautious. Very broke. First mind. Use the first mind. Y'all don't know, man. LA is something else, man. But yeah. Uh, all right, y'all. Wouldn't be nowhere else. This is episode 27. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my name is Prince. You feel me? And, you know, I got Life of a Side Do episode one through six out. And I got my ex Liz with me. Episode one. I'm trying to get two out this weekend. I gotta shoot, I gotta shoot, I gotta shoot this week. I gotta do a lot of shit this week. Gotta do it. Um, what else? Yeah, I was peeping some of that sixth episode. That shit was funny. You was, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you was doing a little dancing shit. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, I'm telling y'all, man. Um, I got some shit coming up for y'all. I've been thinking, you know, my life is a movie. And I take my situations and I put it into... To the yeah, to the you art. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of want to do like. That's I how you make sh- it. I want to show a different side of me. I want to show myself like on some like hood gangster shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm gonna like come up with some like shit where I might be selling drugs. I don't know. Speaking into his I'm learning from experience. Red, just, just add it up. Just add them up and see what it comes up to. Be real, bro. If it's hard, I can do it. Don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Yeah. yeah. That's what she was trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> That's what she was trying to tell you. Oh, well, that's really, yeah. She's like, bro, we ain't making bread. I'm out of here. Yeah, bro. I, you know, she probably looked at you and was like, I like this guy, but let me see if we can get money. All right, I don't like this guy. Bro, she probably, bro, she probably thought that she could, she could do, she could have you do the pippet and she take the 70 30 cut. Really, she could pippet you. She probably see you as a nice dude. God fearing man. Straight from, 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 from Texas coming to Cali. Hold oh, on, let me see. This nigga new to the city. Let me, yeah, let me see if I can get this nigga to link some people he may know that I can, you know, make some bread off of, give him a cut. You never know. I, bro, I couldn't imagine, but that's that's still, I mean, shit. That was the whole scheme right there, I think, bro, because I ain't going, damn. Never know. Never know. That'd be I a lot. knew some niggas, bro. I knew some. 
it'd be a lot to think about. It, it all like, added up, bro. Cause bro, this girl, uh, bro, when I put this girl on, bro, every nigga was into her. Like, you know, they slipped her. Was like, oh, bro, yeah. you know, bro, you see my skits, bro. You're following me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You see, I have multiple girls on my skits. Yeah, yeah. But this girl. Big ass niggas was sliding into her DMZ. Got you, got you, got you. <clears throat> yeah, so when bro. you tell me that and I think about that, I'm like, damn, bro. And she's like, yeah, you want to make some money? At this point, yeah, she not really. And I'm thinking about like weed and shit, like let's do, like trapping, but nah. Not That's small thing. bucks, bro. Not to knock anybody selling drugs, but um, you know, unless you can, you, she ain't about to. Hey, you just want to start off selling weed? Like y'all ain't about to do shit, like you know. Nah, let me sell, let me sell this thing to some people you know. With bread. Um, that's what it sounds like to me. I look upset, y'all. I'm really not. Ha! <laughs> I look upset. He said, "Damn, I'm good." Oh man, damn. I'm gonna have to ponder on that one, y'all. Sometimes you know you want to go back in time. You ever have those moments? Go back in time? Yeah. Like, Do I have those moments? Like, think about those things. You Shit, man. Man. I've seen enough movies to know it's probably bad to go back in time. Let it roll, bro. All right. All right, y'all. Man, it's been one of those episodes, y'all. My name is Prince. Big Jeff. And uh, we out, y'all. Love to live life, y'all. Be safe, man. Be safe. Sense. You know what I'm saying? What, what's the, what's the oh, if it don't make dollars, it don't make if sense. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Remember, man, you don't. Know, Alright, I'm out.